Welcome, everybody. I am here today with Colleen Huber of Stick Habits. Hello, Colleen. Hi, Christy. Hi. And you guys, this is a special, um, this is a special practice that we like to really kick off when we're talking about planted places and we're talking about growing food. And I always like to introduce Colleen in the beginning because we're going to talk about healthy habits. And that is Colleen's business. And we're going to talk to her today about all about habits how to make them stick, what are all the misconceptions, the things that you want to know so that you can bring something new into your life. When you're bringing something like gardening and growing food, it's a wonderful thing, but it can be frustrating at times. And let's just all admit, like, it can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have lots of stories. And, but we, you know, part of it is just the lifestyle and the rituals that we create around it. And so that is why I'm excited to bring on Colleen. And Colleen, let's just kind of get started. Why don't you real quick tell us about you and your business and what Stick Habits is all about. Sure. Well, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure hanging out with you and your team. So uh, I love what you do and, and I'm a little eager student as well. Uh, so I run and I'm the founder and creator of Stick Habits, which is a women's health group uh, loosely based in Ayurveda, which is yoga's sister science and a big focus on uh, habit change science. So behavior change. Um, all within the lovely community of women or anyone who identifies strongly as such. And uh, we have a great time. We spend a whole year dialing things in and then many people stay for many years because as you know, a habit is only a habit as long as you're doing it. So it's exactly. easy to fall out. So um, I think I, I, I focus a lot on the uh, meta kind of analysis of why we do what we do in the patterns. They're all very common between, even though we feel like unique, very unique in our reasons for why we don't do habits or how we fall out of them or fall into them. Right. Um, they're, they're really common. Well, and I love, okay, so you just brought up the first thing because that is such the common thing is we all want to be healthy and, and have habits around it, but yet we don't do it, right? So what do you see? What are the things that people are doing that's traps for them? Yeah, well, generally we want to conserve energy as human beings. So you typically just want to do your body, your mind even wants to do what it did yesterday and doing a new thing, even if it's good for you, even if it's technically easier, will be hard. So uh, that's not personal to you. That's not a personal problem of yours. If it's hard for you to start things, that's, that's you're just in the soup of being human. So acknowledging that it is hard to do new things is is um the first thing and then yeah. so you're just making things people usually tend to do too much this is like you hear this all the time like don't bite off more than you can choose start small mm -hmm. um, but that's really unsexy and unexciting and we want really big personal transformation all at once um and it's okay sometimes to do things like that sometimes that that works where you can have that was a lovely butterfly <laughs> not a butterfly it's a caterpillar butterfly we don't uh, like that i'm no, like we don't want that <laughs> You're going to teach us so much, Christy. I'm going to teach you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you having, having some, having a way, if you want to start with big, hard things, that's good if you're highly motivated, but motivation wanes and it's a muscle that can fatigue. That will, What's that a does. good example of starting small? Like mm. take something like gardening. What's a good example of starting small? Because I am completely guilty of what you just said, which is mm -hmm. I just want to change everything overnight. And then I get frustrated. I fall in this trap. Yeah. 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 So um, in regards to anything, and I'm, you can probably relate this to gardening would be starting with one minute practices or two minute practices. So it's really easy for us to say, um, I, if it's going to take me 10 minutes to do, and I'm have to do it in the morning and I'm rushing out the door, I just don't have time. Yeah. So all, everyone's very busy and overwhelmed with life. So it's really easy to do something for one minute. It's really hard to, to, to rationally, and successfully effectively talk yourself out of doing something for one minute. So if you can do the very smallest piece of your habit, um, that's a good way to start. Really so you know what? I got to jump in because I just, right when you said that, I'm like, ha ha, I got an idea for, because, you know, we do our challenge, right? And this is the six and 30 challenge where we, we do that to introduce people to planted membership, but also to growing. And when you say something like one or two minutes, one of the things people can do is say, okay, you've got your six pots with plants and you've, you've found the right location. We talked about all that. You found the right location. Make sure if there's a hose nearby, great. If not, have your little watering uh, can right there. And there, there's your thing. You're gonna pick the time you're gonna do it and you're gonna go and you're gonna check those things. It's just one minute. You're just gonna check 
So dry is a dry water. Done. One minute. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Does that match? Yeah. No, I think that's 100% true. And just okay. being, just changing the environment that someone's in from the inside to the outside um, will make them feel probably better. Yeah. Right? Just going outside will make them feel better. Maybe touching a plant or touching the soil will mm -hmm. probably make you feel better. Yep. So that then that you have this positive return on investment that's happening, which whatever you're doing, it, it, it has to have some kind of reward. Okay. All of your habits currently have a reward built in. Doesn't matter if it's good for you or bad for you. There's a, you're getting something out of it or you wouldn't repeat it. Interesting. Right. Interesting. So there'll be okay. something positive about a human being touching soil or dirt or a plant or water or being in the sun or being outside or fresh air. All those things are great. Even yep. if it's maybe, and maybe you attach something to that one minute or two minutes of that initial, initial, well, take two, <laughs> initial touch of garden or soil. And maybe it's that you take a breath and you look up at the sky yeah, and you take a big exhale. So regardless of if your plants are thriving or if you're confused about how to grow anything, there's something positive there. Um, I love that. I love that. Like a few just meditative breaths. Yeah. Honestly, one inhale, one exhale. Okay. Three, three is life changing. People won't even get to three. They'll you just say, take a few deep breaths. And someone will say, okay, I feel better. And that's one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just do one. I like that we're on the ones. Yeah. One minute, one breath. <laughs> yeah. Make it really hard. Yeah not to, or really hard to fail, so. Right, now why do you, okay, so this is interesting, you said really hard to fail, so like, you know, we've talked before about this and I love it, you introduced this concept of B minus, and I think that's such an important point, and can you talk to that, like what what does that mean, and it's it's what the world is famous for, in terms of. Sure, I got this from my own teachers, so yeah. uh, Kate Stone was one of my great teachers. Oh. She um, taught us this B minus idea, so B minus is the antithesis of perfectionism, or that all or nothing attitude where if I can't do it perfect, I'm not going to do it at all. Mm -hmm. So B minus over time is success because one thing that it, one thing that it instills or ensures is that you've stayed in the game mm -hmm. and a B minus is not that hard to achieve. Yeah. So if you can, so one way that I work with my uh, members is that if you're looking at a habit and you say, okay, detail it out, what does an A plus look like for a gardening habit. We'll use gardening as an example. So what would an A plus look like? So if someone might say, that looks like I spend, you know, two hours, three hours, I don't know how many hours yeah, every like day. Entire Saturday. Yeah. 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 I spent I spend at least an hour every day in the garden and I have over 25 different plants that I'm tending to and, and I can eat all the food and um, nothing dies. Nothing <laughs> dies. And there's no bugs. Yeah. There's no, there's no problems, no bugs. I'm doing, everything's perfect, beautiful, perfect, all that. And then an F would be, you still have to attempt it. So it's not like an incomplete or it's not like you didn't take the class. It's an F would be um, you start it and you never touch it again. You, maybe you maybe you plant something, but you never go back to look at it. You don't make sure it's in the light. You don't make sure that it's watered. You just never care about it ever again. It's like completely. I mean, it's sort of like having a pet, right? A dog and going, I'm just never going to take it on a walk. And sometimes I might forget to feed it, feed them. Like I was like, definitely not going to talk to it. Not going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's a good analogy also because. Yeah. So then you yeah. look at those two. That's an F and that's an A plus. So then somewhere in the middle. Mm -hmm. is is a b minus so if if a plus is seven days a week of tending to your garden um for wow. you know two or three hours uh what's a b minus is what four days a week three yeah and four? i would yeah and i would even say i would say a b minus is sort of like yeah four days a week but then but just you know and it's funny because i'm laughing because what i preach in our membership is a b minus and i don't even realize i'm doing that i almost feel like i'm getting a a work B minus effort. That's what's so good about it, right? That will, it will be like that. I think that exactly it will be like perfect. that. But I, I wanted to say something when I said earlier, like bug free. It's interesting because I think to myself, I should not even said that because honestly, that's not even on the scorecard because mm -hmm. that is nature, right? Yes. And oftentimes, when you have a bug, 
it's an indication of something going on. And it's, there's a learning there. Like, Ooh, there's something going on here because I got a bug. Or I got a bunch of aphids. Something's going, something's off. Right. And it's a learning thing there. Yes. Um, but yeah. So four days a week, couple minutes every day. Like, yeah. Houston, so you can, you can get yeah. very clear about what a B minus is yeah. and you can use metrics. So, and, and if you're doing four days that. a week, how many of those days are weekdays then three? Yeah, I would say three. One I would say, yeah, I would say, cause really, and a lot of it is interesting because when you're thinking about it too, it's kind of like, we do this for joy. Right. And so, and so it's kind of like on the weekday, it's a little bit of a tour, but on the weekend it's joy. Right. And so mm -hmm. Like, and that's, what's interesting about it. Like almost you balance it out that way. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. And so I, I, I just, but I just do like the idea of let's not go for perfect um, because it won't be perfect. Right. Awesome. It's like, people nobody likes that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, do you want to meet someone who's perfect? How do you feel about that person? First no. of all, nobody is. And right, right. you don't even like it. Yeah. <laughs> You don't even like it. So why are we going for it? Oh, no, you're like, God, so person, so annoying. Yeah, so yeah, perfect. no, it's true. Well, and I think also too that like perfect means things for different people, right? You know, it's like so one thing that you could also be doing is saying, I'm going to grow things that aren't as challenging at first, right? Mm, herbs. Yeah, herbs are easier to grow at first, right? They're just a little easier. They they can dry out, and you know, they you know, what I mean, like it's okay. You can kind of abuse them, and they'll they'll kick back, right? Yeah. Other things, not so much, right? I mean, they can be abused, but uh, you know, that's why um, it's good to do that in a group like yours because I wouldn't know that herbs are a good beginner. Yeah. It can take a lot of abuse, neglect. Right, right. I mean, certain things. <laughs> certain things 